Hello there. Today I am going to make an attempt to do a spiral pour on the biggest canvas I have worked on so far. I can't get it all onto the camera, but it is a 24 inch by 24 inch. Um, well, it was a picture that was given to me, which was a wall picture from from a friend who didn't want it anymore. And um, so I thought, OK, I'll give it a try. The uh, surface isn't canvas. It's a plastic imitation. But as it's the first large canvas that I've worked on, um, I, it'll do good as a practice canvas. And at the same time, I want to give a big shout out to a good friend of mine from one of my job sites here in New Plymouth. His name is Gaurav Singh, and he has supported my painting for paintings for months and months now. Um, he has a wall in his office where he displays my artwork and he has requested another large canvas so I'm telling him right now that even if this one fails he's going to get it on his wall. At the same time I will give a shout out to the other staff at the site. It is Bid Food here in New Plymouth, a job site I work on three days a week and I just want to say thank you for the support I get from the staff at that site. So now I'll show you my paints. I'll show you a clip first of me putting the second lot of paint in, which are what I call my warm colours. I missed putting in my cool colours. I forgot to turn the camera on. So I'll show you that clip now and I'll put on the screen what colours they are that I am using. to start the spiral pour and uh, by using the cool colours first and then the warm colours and then tilting it all to see what sort of a pattern I can make.
So that is the whole painting. I'm holding my camera right up high. I've climbed a small step ladder to do so, so that you can see the whole effect of the painting. And now I will bring it down to show you up closer. Actually, no, I'll put my camera back in its stand and bring the picture up to the light. So after I had put the paint down onto the canvas and then um, uh, left it for a, mi a minute or two this, in the spiral shape before I started tilting, you may have noticed the cell-like appearance um, in the cool colours, which I think is caused by the silver paint that I use. It's sort of merged out a bit there, almost wavy or cloud, the cloud-like effect. And it's sort of throughout the picture. But oh gosh, am I absolutely loving these colours. Just fabulous. I used absolutely no silicone in this. It's got a little bit of um, uh, Liquitex pouring medium, which I managed to pick up on special at one of my local shops called Spotlight. So I've added a little of that to the cobalt blue and the mineral blue, but otherwise I didn't add any Thing else except my usual PVA glue medium and water to my colours. My colours are a mix of uh, Reno Art and um, Artists Acrylic, both cheap brands of paint uh, available locally. Um, the black I don't know how well you can see that if I move it over here a little. The black has wound its way through quite well. I'm very, very pleased with that. And of course mixed with the yellow to give that almost deep green tint down here and in here. Uh, along with the blue, of course, mixing with the yellow. But overall, I am very, very happy with this picture. And um, my... My lovely, lovely friend, Garaz, will be getting this picture on his wall of his office in a couple of weeks when it's dry. That's it for me for today. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.